Ghosts caught on camera. Five scary videos by Nukes Top Five. I'm ready. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Uh -huh. When you see it, a mother is sitting with her two daughters while they eat. Okay. Suddenly, the oldest daughter becomes very disturbed and frightened by something she can see in the other room, even though there's nothing visible in the video. What? For I, I want to do a uh, critique. I hate when we have opacity overlays like that when I'm trying to analyze footage. I know that it's other people's thing. I know that people are going to be like, oh, oh Lamau spooky, right? But when I'm trying to seriously analyze something, hmm. I'm scared. It's okay. I just turned off the lights. That's all. The mother remains calm, questioning her daughter as to why she is scared, but she receives no answer. Uh -huh. The younger daughter looks back, doesn't see anything, and then laughs at how her big sister is seemingly scared of nothing. Look at me. What are you scared of? The fish? Oh. I, I agree, dude. Fish are spooky. You kidding me? Oh, dude. Fish are weird. Fish died. What? Angel's sleeping already. <gasps> it's raining, girls. No. Nothing, Nani, are you almost done eating? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> that is, until the younger girl takes a second look, and suddenly she also sees whatever frightened her older sister. Okay, but what are we analyzing here? Right, that that's the thing. I I, I was promised ghost footage, okay? Like moist critical Charlie status, hunting ghosts. I was promised ghosts. Her reaction is pure terror. But you gotta listen to me. Uh, Turn around. Look at me. Look to my. Okay. The video uploader, Angel Ruiz, says that both girls claim to have seen a ghost in the other room even though nothing strange was visible to their mother or captured on video. Uh-huh. Loading dot ghost girl. I, uh, yeah, that no, does nothing for me. I mean, sure, you could argue in the Clank Sticks clickbait a lot. I have no idea. I've never heard of this channel before today. I don't know. Uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily chalk that up to anything. I mean, like, trick of the light, swamp gas in the moonlight. I mean, we can come to things all day. Um, I mean, as a parent, I mean, you're probably going to be uh, investigating, right? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, that one comes across as just odd to me. I, I have no idea. Guards at a loading dock in Mexico spot something strange on their security camera. What looks like a young girl dressed in all black is standing near one of their trucks. While two uh -huh. guards go outside to investigate, the others watch on the CCTV camera. So what's the hook here? What happens? Does she just vanish? Do they turn away and then he like turns off his camera and it's a different shot? Like what what's the hook here? What what's the insinuation? So the light is It's so hard to get a good angle on this. Good God. I like the light feels like it just goes through whatever it is, right? I don't know if that's an optical illusion. I don't know what that is. 
It's static too, right? You're right here. It's it's going through whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Like I mean, you can probably rule out... I don't know. Like, I mean, it could be a really good Photoshop, right? I don't know. Like, I don't have enough context on this one. Like, like whatever, whatever this is. Whether it's a ghost, whether it's... Uh, I don't know. Like, that's really interesting to kind of look at, though, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... I don't know. I, I don't know. I'd have to have somebody who's a graphic designer really kind of look over this and figure out if it's a Photoshop or not, or if this is an elaborate hoax. Uh, it is remaining static, whatever this is, uh, if this is truly in there. But I mean, I mean, this is going to be like super elaborate if they're trying to react with it in real time, right? Like that. I don't know. This is interesting. <laughs> But yeah, her third dude coming over. Despite the girl being visible on the security camera monitor, the guards on the lot can't see her, even though she is standing right beside them. While the other guards inside try to direct them to her location over the radio, the guard shines his light around, but they both still seem to see nothing. It almost looks as if the guards believe that they are being pranked by the other security guards inside at the CCTV monitor. Yeah. Creepiest of all, as the guards search, they seem to pass right through the girl, and one guard's flashlight shines right through her body as well. I don't know. I don't know how you begin to hoax something like that. I'm sure it can be done. I mean... Is that they're almost yelling at them? I don't know. Like, it's... This is a really tough one to dissect. I can't really say one way or the other. And once again, we do have, you know, <laughs> Razor Tone 2006 levels of video quality, but this is also a recording of a CCTV, right? Looks like they're trying too hard. It could be, dude. Like, there's so much to unpack, and I don't have the editing skill level to really pick this apart. Do you believe? This is Dalhousie Castle in Scotland. It's 800. I honestly thought I was about to have like Jonathan Frakes just start asking me questions. Oh my God. 100 years old. And the reason why we're here is because the place is rumored to be haunted. Australian reporter Helen Parker never believed in ghosts. That is, until the journalist investigated Dalhousie Castle, an 800 year old haunted castle in Scotland. Parker was so confident that she decided to go alone into the castle's dungeon at 2 a.m. I'd do it. I would have to have a group there as well, mostly because security, right? I would do it. I, I, I would go. I would volunteer. Just her and a camera. It's now nearly 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm down here in the dungeon. We were having dinner earlier tonight down here. Oh, look at that armor. It's definitely a very, very different mood now. The rest of the castle have gone to bed. Now I should point out, I'm the only one in the dungeon. Just me and my camera, and I'm facing the only doorway. So, had no signs of her tonight. But if ever you were gonna see a ghost, do you think it would be here? After sitting for a while and witnessing nothing, she even starts joking about how the castle's ghost called Lady Catherine might be, quote, rubbish so maybe it's all just rubbish maybe it's all just hocus pocus maybe there is no such thing as gas whatsoever then she even starts taunting the supposed spirit anyway i'm prepared to wait catherine oh catherine it's creeping me out now <laughs> Okay, I get it. I'm going. I'm going. 
I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Okay, Catherine, I get it. Then something moves in the dungeon, but I'm okay. not staying to find out what it is. <laughs> I'm freaking going. Helen Parker. I mean, this is why a group setting would be would be better, right? Like, because you have the you have multiple people able to corroborate that something did in fact happen. You have that safety in numbers mentality, and then you're able to okay, well, I'm gonna stay here. Hey, you go ahead. What what moved? Okay, you're able to assess, right? I mean, what, what's it going to do, right? Is it going to throw over that armor stand on you? Is it going to be some sort of, I don't know, is it going to like materialize in front of you? Like, what's the fear? I mean, I think that it comes down to uh, fear of the dark in certain aspects, right? It says that during the experience, she felt, quote, an intense electrical feeling down the right side of my face and head. Okay, I get it. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. <sighs> <laughs> I'd like to think. I'd like to think I'm a pretty rational person. But, um, and uh, if you're interested to play back what's on that tape. The chair banging on its own with such purpose is what scared me. <sighs> And, and in but it's also off camera. This is not a shot at her journalistic integrity, but it's also just off camera. So there is that as well. Like we don't have any physical evidence on on that being off camera. Not going to uh, lessen her experience in any capacity. But those are things that I look for. Do we actually have any sort of tangible, physical? Like I can see the evidence. I don't see it. It, it. it could be their foot bumped onto something. I mean, we can have a number of ways of dismissing this. We also have a number of ways to say, oh, this is legit, right? There's a number of ways. First off, someone's alone in a dungeon in the middle of nowhere, middle of the night, and it's also off camera. I think there's just enough to have some people peak their suspense of disbelief. Tense electric feeling down the right side of my face and the head. <sighs> I don't know if you can see that, but I'm shaking like a leaf. <laughs> anyway, she was probably just knocking on the chair to say hello and can you let me out of this castle? In the beginning, I'd assumed either nothing would happen here or I'd fall asleep on camera. Whatever my encounter was, it was one of the biggest frights of my life. The follower. While a man was vacationing in the Rocky Mountains, his girlfriend zoomed in and snapped an iPhone Live photo of him. For those who don't know, an iPhone Live photo basically captures a three second video along with the normal photo. Later, when they were reviewing their pictures, they found something very odd. Even though they were all alone in the wilderness that day, someone appeared to be watching the man from the field behind him. Oh, no, 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 no. You can be alone, quote unquote, in the wilderness. You could be being watched, whether that's by an animal, whether that's by uh, a druggie, whether that, there's a number of people that could be out there watching you. There's, oh God, I think it was, was it a Mr. Ballin video? Yeah, it was Mr. Ballin video, right? Hey, do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon or whatever? There's just people on the, this is why, like, that's part of why the woods in certain aspects terrify me. Not necessarily because you're going to run into a spooky ghost, right? But because you can run into just some random, or you can stumble across somebody's uh, like the, like the 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 pictures stapled to uh, the trees, you could run into someone's art project, quote unquote. You aren't ever truly alone in nature. That's true as well. Also, forests just eat people. Like we have enough missing four one ones that like I, the forest just eat people. Sometimes the forest just says this person is mine now, and then a search and rescue gets uh, sent out, and then nature's just like, nah, it's gonna rain for like two three days. This person is mine now. <laughs> On first glance, it looks like someone's standing in tall grass. But as this shot shows, the grass in that area is not that tall. So on second look at the photo, it almost appears as if the person was actually hiding in the grass. Uh -huh. But the iPhone Live photo three second video shows something very different. It almost looks like someone walking, even though half of the person's body would be beneath the ground. When the video is motion stabilized, it looks even creepier. Uh -huh. 
invisible. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. I don't know. That, that could be a hoax. It could be edited. I don't know. It, it's really hard to tell. And obviously, you're not going to have like, you know, cotton 4K cameras when you're doing stuff like this, right? Especially depending on the air it's taken in. I don't know. Like, something to me screams hoax. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know. It's definitely odd. It's an oddity. Dinner guest. YouTube user bscotty321 was suspicious that his little sister was playing with his food every time he left the room. So he set up a camera to catch her in the act. Sure enough, she was playing with his food, but she also seemed to be talking to someone who wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Mommy. She says that's Billy's dinner to someone or something that can't be seen in the video. The silverware on the plate seems to move on its own. I did see that one, yeah. That's Billy's dinner. I don't know. It's it's smooth enough, right? It's smooth. I don't know. You could probably hoax this. I have no See, it's years of like having reality ghost hunting shows, some of which have definitely been less credible than others that really has tainted my opinion on stuff like this. You could also make an argument that something is done to. I, I, I don't know, because two, two things are happening in vacuums. Because one, she's allegedly speaking to someone, but she could be speaking to herself, could be overactive imagination as a child. It could be it could be that angle. Um in regards to moving of silverware and stuff. Uh something could be weighted appropriate or weighted just right. Um like if you stack a bunch of chips on top of each other, right? And, uh, and uh, some of them are precarious enough, you know, left unattended. Or if a table gets bumped, is she moving here, actually? Just go dinner. No, I don't think she's kicking. I don't think her body's moving away where she could kick something. I don't know. I'm mixed on this one. This one feels more credible than some of the other ones we've seen. It feels more credible than the iPhone one. But I feel like the, uh, the, the napkin over here, it feels almost edited. Like it feels way too smooth. Like it's not a natural movement. Because it just effectively just like rotates on an axis almost. I don't know. That's a weird one. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. As I said, years of uh, ghost journalism on social media has really kind of tainted my perception. And even then, it's, you know, Photoshop is up to certain levels. You have uh, you know, edits, people being, uh, you know, bad faith actors. You have another, another, just so much going on there. So. As much as I feel like I'm coming across as a skeptic, I'm perfectly okay if, beyond a reasonable doubt, we are presented with evidence. If there's ever any doubt, if stuff happens off screen, off screen, if there are reasonable mundane factors, if things feel like they're potentially edited and stuff, I mean, I you know, I, I do try to debunk everything reasonably before saying it is spooky, right? That that's just from not just like a, a public image standpoint, but that's kind of a like. Yeah, like I, I want to have evidence of something, right? 
I want to make sure we're actually having a good faith discussion with evidence that backs this, right? I mean, it's, it's one thing to, you know, critique images like this, but it's completely another thing altogether if somebody comes across and it's just like, hey, Kip, so uh, we got, I got a spooky story for you. And this, this, you know, happened in our family. Like, hearing an account is different. If it's being presented as evidence, that is different altogether, right? And that's where I think I'm drawing the line. But thank you all for watching. It's been a great Spooktober so far. I've really loved doing content like this. Um, you know, just trying to see how horror does on YouTube, trying to see if there's uh, something that maybe I can bring to the table. And I'll see you all in the next one.